man. So a green day today. Bitcoin up 2.78%, taking Algorand with it up 2.45% at the time of recording this video. But Bitcoin continues to remain in its downward trend. And in this video, I want to explore whether Algorand could be a potential pickup on some of these dip opportunities. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, we've been monitoring Algorand for quite a long time. And I've done my homework on whether I think Algorand can 74.7 x yes 74.7 x on algorand i'm going to take you along on that journey i'm also going to share with you some interesting chart patterns i've seen on algorand on the daily and on the weekly patterns so a lot to cover off so make sure you sit back hit up the like button don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos and these blend between technicals and fundamentals hit up the subscribe button make sure you're part of this community if you like my perspective consider joining the course member live stream see jars.uk forward slash member links in the description Right, so what have we got going on here? We've got this daily chart here on Algorand, up 2.34%. The market's taking a moment to have a green day today, which is interesting. We saw the equities market moving to the upside. If you haven't watched my video on Bitcoin earlier on in the day, go and watch that. I'll give you the full context around what's going on and why are we seeing a green day in crypto. But nonetheless, we're seeing a pattern form on the daily chart here for Algorand. And Algorand is still 71% down from its highs of $2.55. We're sitting here at 74 cents. And for me, these are bargain levels for Algorand. These are great levels for me to be dollar cost averaging on Algorand. You can see the long-term support line here at 74 cents is something we've been testing for a very long time, dating to early 2021. Test, 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 test again, and another test coming now. But are we creating a double bottom? That's the bearish pattern which can help us get out of the situation right now, is to create this double bottom and head to the upside. That is our hope here. But of course, that depends on the wider market. Bitcoin is creating a bit of a triple bottom. We've got some of our other favorite altcoins starting to create double bottoms now as we start to retest the low from the period dating back. One second, just clicked off it. Dating back to here, which is the 13th of March period. Okay. So what the question I wanted to cover off today is can Algorand, which we know is a great fundamental project, right? We don't need to spend time talking about the fundamentals. We know it's a great uh layer one blockchain it's got great transactions per second it's got a great founder in silvio mccarley we know it's a, a pure proof of stake model we know it's very decentralized in terms of the random selection of their validators we know they offset their carbon emissions we know they've got a layer two built into their layer one it's a great great blockchain they've got great block finality i can go on and on and on right but the reality is can it actually who are they competing with who are the projects that are ahead of them that we can then say okay let's benchmark algorand if algorand can deliver on all the metrics and achieve all the things they need to in a bull run or even in a in competitive valuation today where could algorand be so what we do is start by looking at who are the competitors now just as a stupid benchmark we'll compare to bitcoin bitcoin's sitting there at 75 775 billion in market cap we know that's not even the highest it's been right it's been above a trillion we've got ethereum sitting at 364 billion then it's worth probably comparing to Binance, which is sitting there at 66, albeit centralized. It's still can, like, like a layer one type solution. You've then got Solana, which I think is a very fair comparison to compare to Solana with the transaction per second, with the scalability, sitting at 33 billion. And then you want to look at something like Avalanche, which is, again, another very good smart contract platform sitting at 20 billion. Now, we have to scroll down quite far before we see our friend Algorand sitting at 4.7 billion. Now, keep in mind, all of these valuations are probably about a third suppressed, right? Since Bitcoin was at 60,000, let's call it. So all of these projects have potential and have proven to be much higher market caps than this. So we're saying, what would it take for Algorand just to reach the current market cap of something like Ethereum? So you can go over to this website, and this website's a nice, simple tool of doing the calculation for you. And I can say, if Algorand was to achieve the market cap of Ethereum, that would imply a 74.7x on Algorand today. That's $55.6 on your Algorand. That would be a huge return on investment. On And for me, this is the kind of risk reward I'm looking for. When you look at something like Algorand and you look at the project, how much further can it go down from here? We're at long-term major support here at $74 here on Algorand. And it's a great, great project. Fundamentally, this is as sound a project as uh, you can come across. Now, if you haven't watched my video where I talk about whether I'm selling Algorand and I talk about what it would need to take for me to sell, go and watch that because I do mention a few of the Achilles heels for Algorand. I'm going to link that up here somewhere for you guys to watch as well. A few Achilles heels and a few things they need to resolve in order to achieve this ambition that we're listing out in this video today. Now, let's say, okay, Ethereum is crazy and you can make the argument it can hit Ethereum's market cap. There's no reason not, right? Ethereum's been at far higher 
market cap than it's been at 364 billion. But let's say that's that's two out of reach. Fair enough. That makes sense. But let's take something a bit more sensible. Let's take Binance Coin, right? Let's use Binance Coin as an example. We can type in BNB and we can take a look at Binance Coin. That would be still a 14x hit on your money. But guys, this is not bad at all in terms of a risk to reward for our grant to be sitting at ten dollars or if it achieves the same market cap as Binance. And there's no reason it can't. It's fully decentralized. Great, like I said, pure proof of stake model, great decentralization, block finality, great founding team. You know, they got the potential to go and achieve great things with CBDCs and be the backbone of infrastructure like they are in El Salvador. This is a huge, huge project that a lot of people are not paying attention to. And that is why we're seeing some crazy multiples possible here. Let's go ahead and compare to something like Solana then. Let's pull in Solana. And Solana is a nice conservative market cap of about 33 billion, right? 33 billion is not crazy, guys. Trust me. Solana was much higher when it ran up. So this is very, you know, deflated market cap for Solana. Still then, you're close to a 7x on your Algorand. And this is the reality, guys. I'm going to post a really important video soon on this. But the community and the crypto traders, and there's a new crypto trader investor born every single day, they're always chasing a 1,000x. If you don't show them something that's a 1,000x, they're not excited. And the reality is to get from $1,000 to a $1 million, you need three clean 10Xs. I'm going to make a video on this principle specifically because I think the community needs to hear this. So don't snub at 7Xs, 8Xs, 9Xs, 10X, or 20X is huge, right? The stock market, the normal investors like Warren Buffett and all these guys, they're happy with 8% per annum. Now, I'm not saying go get that. I'm saying go get a 10X. Go get a 7x. Go get a safe, a safe 8x. It's far more healthy than you risking ten thousand dollars, right, on a on a coin which may go to the moon, may not go to the moon. You end up with zero. Put that ten thousand dollars in a project which has very low risk to the downside, but will get you a safe 7x, right? That's how you go from ten grand to seventy grand. Now you got seventy grand to go split that in the wider portfolio and keep going. Play the less risky plays. Stack the cards in your favor. Right now, let's let's carry on. Let's say it won't even achieve a Solana, and this is where it starts to get very interesting. Because let's say we just want to go to something like Avalanche, which is not a huge project; it's a good sized project, twenty billion in market cap. What if Algorand could achieve that? Now you're looking at still a four and a half times X, four and a half X, just to reach Avalanche Avalanche's market cap. Okay, so this is really within the realms of possibility. There is no reason Algorand can't be you know, can't eclipse Avalanche, let alone reach its market cap. And we know Avalanche can achieve higher market caps from here as well. Avalanche at least has got a, probably another third in it in terms of market caps. So are we saying that Algorand can't even achieve two thirds of Avalanche's market cap long term if they solve all their problems? And so you can see it becomes very common and easy almost to achieve between a four and a 12x on this project over the medium term, depending on how bullish you are and how well they can execute with their team on achieving these types of market caps. Now, one more thing I did want to share with you is let's head on over to a clean chart here. And I want to show you here on the weekly time frame something I've observed. Now, if we head on over to the weekly time frame, I've observed this interesting pattern, which a lot of people are not talking about here on Algorand. And that is a bullish megaphone pattern. For those who aren't familiar, this is your megaphone pattern. It's when you have higher highs on the top side and you have lower lows on the top side. Now, it's bullish if you enter from the downside upwards into the megaphone and it's bearish if it's the opposite here. You can see here, this is more likely to break to the upside than the downside, but we're at a critical moment right now. And Algorand is at the mercy here of Bitcoin going for its next run to the upside. Now, if I show you a similar pattern on Bitcoin on the weekly, you will see that Bitcoin is doing the same thing, right? We're in our ascending channel and we need Bitcoin to, to either get a retest and start working its way to the upside or just turn around now and start working to the top of its channel, head towards 70K. And if it does, projects like Algorand here will be able to stay within their megaphone pattern and really have a big move to the upside. And again, what kind of move are you looking at if you're going from here to from the bottom here of this wedge all the way to the top? Let's take the measured move. Oops. Take that move there all the way to the top. I mean, that's huge, right? You're, you're looking at a $3 Algorand there. You're looking at 350x on your investment moving there between just here to the top of the channel. So definitely a good indication here on the weekly chart for Algorand. Definitely a project which I continue to look at and I will be actively dollar cost averaging in on a project like Algorand as and when Bitcoin pulls back. I wouldn't be chasing green days like today where it's up 2.26%. You know, I don't have green candle disease, guys. I wait for those pullbacks and I continue to accumulate. But at the same time, I wouldn't let Algorand become more of my portfolio than it needs to be. I like to keep it in a strict percentage of my portfolio. And that is something I always advise our course members on our live streams to do. Really important 
have your ideal allocation of your portfolio set out with your strict percentages. When a position outgrows that, you trim and you reinvest into other projects. Really important to do that within your portfolio if you want to be in crypto for the long term and in a sustainable manner. So there you have it, guys. A great project algorithm, something from a fundamental perspective uh, I'm hugely bullish on over the long term. It just needs a bit more mass adoption. I cover all of that off in my video on whether I'm selling my algorithm. So I'm going to link that video up at the end of this video. Go watch that so you know where I stand in terms of what would need to happen for me to sell. At the same time, what are the opportunities that the team can work on that if they deliver, 74.7x could be on the cards here for our grand. as always guys don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe if you like my perspective consider checking out the course number live streams charles.uk forward slash member i'll see you